Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress.com account and get started with your blog. So first I'm going to go open up a browser and go to WordPress.com and you will see that there's an option right here that says create website. And from there they want you to choose a theme and you can always choose this later. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick the intergalactic theme. And this is where you get to choose a domain or keyword um, for to start that domain. Um, and what they're asking for is a web URL that you want your blog to be um, located at. So if I was really into gardening or doing a blog about gardening, I would say gardening in Texas wordpress.com and so it's going to do kind of a search here and it'll say what's available okay wow it is all right cool well then I'm gonna go ahead and select it if you don't see that yours is available or there's um, you know it's already taken you can always kind of be creative with this but what we're looking for is a subdomain that is reflective of your topic and don't just choose your name don't just choose your text state ID go ahead and choose a word or phrase that um, is easy and has to do with your blog topic. I'm going to go ahead and press select and obviously I want a free one so I'm going to go ahead and click free and then this is where you have to click your actual email address so I'm going to go ahead and provide my Texas State email address and my username. You can see I've already signed in before so you should be fine with that. Now choosing a username um, I recommend just choosing something simple like your name John Zmickley um, or even just your name, all one word, and then choose a password. And obviously, I've already taken that one, so let's we'll go John Mickley one two, and um, go ahead and change this so it looks better. And then I'll choose a password, and my password should be something that um, is easy to re remember, but again, also encrypted enough to where you don't have to worry about somebody hacking your account. Go ahead and press create and it's going ahead and doing everything it needs to do and eventually it takes you to what we're gonna call the back end of WordPress you can see this is a dashboard now this is okay but what we're looking for is a another way to edit your your blog post and all of your blog elements and so you can see this is the beginning of my blog now to log in and to actually start editing some things, I'm going to click on my sidebar here and click Site Admin. Now this is very important to make sure you access the correct um, page here so that you can get all the features that we want to do in this class. Now if you can't find your sidebar or your widget area uh, that can pop out or if it's, it might be on a sidebar, what you're looking for is this Site Admin button. What you can always do is go back up to your URL and type in slash wp-admin. What that's going to do is going to take you to the dashboard that we're going to use for this class. So no matter what your subdomain is on your WordPress account, you're going to type slash wp-admin and that is going to let you log in to the dashboard where you get access to all of your posts all of your pages and all kinds of other things that we're going to do in this class. So that's just how to create an account and in the next tutorial we'll show you how to get started with your new WordPress account.